So welcome back to our channel, Fast Cabling. Today in this video, I want to talk to you about something often goes unnoticed but play a crucial role in our safety and security, our CCTV system on both deck. Now, by strategically placing CCTV cameras at different areas of the boat deck, now they can watch over your boat day and night, also discouraging criminal activity and enhancing the safety of crew members and passengers by ensuring the activities on the deck are under surveillance. And if you have any questions with your civilian system design, please feel free to contact us through the link down in the description box below. And our team of experts will provide you with the solution that tailor for your specific need. So we know setting up a CCTV on a boat deck can present unique challenges due to the maritime environment, which can be harsh and dynamic. Salt water, limited space, and the need for position in placement. And then there's the issues of cable length. Now, bow deck are exposed to the salt water spray, which can corrode cameras and other equipment. Most importantly, bow deck often operates in remote or offshore location, which adds us to a stable power supply can be hard. So, power fluctuation and interruption may impact the continuous operation of the CCTV cameras. So power over Ethernet technology is often used for this situation, since it can provide a consistent and regulated power supply to each connected device. It combines both power and data transmission over a single Ethernet cable. And this can eliminate the needs for separate power cables, simplifying the whole installation process. However, power over Ethernet does come with the distance limitation. Now, it has a maximum cable length of 100 meters, that's 328 feet for both power and data transmission. And beyond this distance, there is a risk of signal degradation. As the cable length increases, there can be a voltage drop in the power transmitted. This can result in insufficient power reaching the PoE power devices, such as the CCTV camera, especially if the cable run is long. So it's a real headache in a marine environment. But what if that's a solution? Now, a technology that could transcend for the distance challenge and also provide a seamless solution to our maritime surveillance need. So, captains, let's meet our solution, the long-range PoE switch. Now, this innovative switch can extend the reach of IP cameras, overcoming the limitation of traditional PoE setup. Now, it improvises the power delivery and maintains the signal degradation for over a longer distances, since it has intelligent long-range chipsets built in. And with the plug-and-play feature, there's no need for configuration, save you times on the installation process. And what's special about it is that it has various long distances range. Now you can achieve up to 800 meters and 500 meters at a 100 megabit per second that the transmission rate with an adapter and also 250 meters at 10 megabit per second with only a single continuous run cable to provide high reliability and easy maintenance. So without saying, I'm going to show you how to connect them together. So now I'm going to show you how to connect to a CCTV camera that is 500 meters away. So let's take a look what we have here. We have the router to provide the internet access and a network video recorder so we can view the video footage on a monitor. And then I'm going to connect them to our 24 port long range PoE switch. Plug them in. And keep in mind, port number 17 to 24 are the long range port. So I'm going to use this port, use an Ethernet cable to plug it into one of this port. And coming all the way here, since I don't have a big row of 500 meters, that's why I'm going to join this 
200 meters and 300 meters Ethernet cable together using this coupler. This is just a simple coupler. So now they're joined together. I can have 500 meters in total. Next, I'm going to put it into the PoE adapter. Now, why we need a PoE adapter? Since the long range PoE switch has the chipset built in, but the camera doesn't. That's why we'll need to use the PoE adapter to send back the long range signal all the way to the long range PoE switch. Let me take out the neck and the gland for easy installation. But when you install it on a bow deck, make sure you use a wrench to fasten it up tightly so nothing can get in, even the moisture. First, we have the input port. Connect the 500 meters Ethernet cable to the input port. And then let's mount it on here. This is a special mounted tool, allows you to mount it on the DIN reel flexibly. Connect with the short patch cord that is already connected to the PDZ camera. Put it back on the DIN reel. Now we can hear the sound of the PDZ camera moving. That means it's getting both power and data at the same time. Let's take a look at the monitor. So here you can see this is a live video feed and I'm waving my hand all the way here. And what's more, if you have IP cameras on your bow deck that is not that far away, you can also use the long range PoE switch to achieve up to 250 meters without using the PoE adapter. And I'm going to show you how. Now here we have the long range PoE switch. I'm going to plug in the ethernet cable to one of this port. Even though I said those are the long range port, but port number one to 16 can also achieve up to 250 meters. All you need to do is make sure it is on the CCTV mode, which is all the way to the right. And coming over here, we have a 200 meters ethernet cable and it is already connected to a bullet camera. As you can see, we don't need to add any PoE adapter. Going back to the monitor, I'm going to see the live video feed of the bullet camera. Here it is already connected. Go to the split. So this is our bullet camera. I'm going to wave my hand again so you can see this is a live video. And it's achieving 250 meters without adding anything, just the ethernet cable. And here's some more additional information. When it comes to outdoor bow storage surveillance, selecting the right camera is important. We need camera that can brave the elements and stand guard against potential threat. So opting for weatherproof and vandal proof camera option and considering the challenging outdoor conditions. Advanced features such as night vision, human detection, and high resolution imaging can enhance the surveillance capability of this camera. Night vision ensure 24 seven monitoring even in a low light condition and human detection identifying potential intruders accurately and high resolution imaging capture every detail for effective monitoring. And also strategic location of the IP cameras in the bolt storage unit is crucial. You should covering all the key areas like corners, entrances, and critical zones. So that's all for today. Thank you very much for joining us. And I'll see you in the next video.